I'm here to get my bike fit at Biowheels. I've been riding big long rides and at the end of the last century I did, my neck was hurting really bad and I, I stopped at a tent and they said, your neck shouldn't be hurting. I thought, that's what always happens after a long ride. My neck hurts really bad. But everybody's been telling me I need to come in and get my bike fit and then my neck won't hurt when I ride my bike. So I'm here at BioWheels to see what happens. Hey Bridget. Hey Eric. Here for your bike fit? Yes. All right. Perfect. Well, we'll get in and get started then. All right, let's go. We, we do fittings for uh, everywhere from the recreational cyclist up to the, the elite athlete. Um, so uh, you don't need to be an elite athlete to get, gain benefits from a fitting. Even just uh, riding to the store, commuting, um, doing long rides like Bridget does, you can gain benefits from a bike fit um, in, in efficiency and comfort and uh, also um, injury even. Normally a fit starts at the feet and works its way up. So uh, once you get below the waist set, then you uh, fit the uh, front and, and top of the body from uh, the shoulders to the hand position. Etc. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple measurements um, on Bridget on, on her bike while she's pedaling. Just to get an idea of where, where her position is now, um, one of the first things I do is, is take a look at, at her feet and the position her feet are in as she's turning the pedals. So, Bridget is a is a toe down pedaler at this point um, that that may or may not change but her her natural tendency is to point her toes when she comes through the pedal stroke so take that into account as i measure her saddle height which is what i'm going to do here the saddle height measurement is done i'm um, just going to have you freeze at the bottom of your pedal stroke as you come around to the side so let your knee loose so that we're not cheating. And kind of putting her foot in the same position that she uses as she comes through her pedal stroke. So using the goniometer here, I'm looking for the angle of her knee at the bottom of her pedal stroke, which is 40 degrees, which is about 15 degrees uh, sharper of an angle than she needs to have. Yeah, so what that what that amounts to is her saddle's extremely way too low. So we're gonna I'm gonna have you pedal again, just natural pedal strokes. And then I'm gonna have you stop with your left foot forward and your pedals horizontal. So come around and stop there. And now I'm looking for um, her saddle position on the rails, the fore and aft of the saddle. So I'm gonna have you lift your heel on that left foot and push down the pedals a little bit. Uh, lower the heel to kind of get that pedal to a flat position. There you go. Off the front of the knee. And plumb bob should intersect the pedal axle, which it is a good two and a half centimeters behind the center of the pedal axle. So, this is, this is a great case study. <laughs> um, most people are too low and too far back on their bikes. And here's the example um, playing itself out right here. So, and just to show you again, go ahead and put your hands out here. Um, what we've got here is, is, is Bridget's also kind of stretched out and her elbows are locked when she's in this neutral position, which is in the hoods, which is where your, your hands are supposed to be to be able to shift and break and everything else. So, um, uh, but the reason we start at the feet and work our way up to this is because I'm seeing that, you know, we're gonna have to make some pretty, pretty major adjustments to her saddle position first, and that's gonna change where her hands are. You never wanna change saddle position to 
uh, to affect change at, at the hands or in the cockpit or the shoulders, you want to do the saddle individual of the rest of the body and then make the adjustments to the front afterwards to, depending on where the, where the saddle ends up. So, go ahead and hop off Bridget. Oh, wow. Does it look different? Yeah. You can see that you're, you have your elbows bent a little bit. Yeah, it's interesting because it's not something that you really think about, or that I really think about when I go on the bike, is whether my elbows are bent or not. I mean, I tend to do that anyway sometimes, but the fact that I don't have to. That was so much better. Ideally, we get you a zero offset Z post. We get you that much closer. Um, again, that's to address where you are in relation to the bottom bracket, not to fix the issue of um, your reach. But it will be a consequence of moving your saddle forward that you're going to be even a little bit closer, which is which is good because we're still we're looking for 90 degree bend right here, and you're still a little bit little bit reached um, and okay. we don't want to do it any shorter of a stem than that because it would start compromising the hand of your life um, but uh, zero offset the seat post is going to take care of that last little you know half centimeter to centimeter forward that we need to come cool. um, so yeah and that's that that's pretty much that <laughs>